Hi everyone, this is Georgia with Georgia's Crafty Creations and today I'm going to show you with the brand Brother Scan and Cut Canvas online how you can upload SVGs that you purchase to be able to cut them on your Brother Scan and Cut. Now I'm at the login screen for the Scan and Cut Canvas which is a free program. You just have to go and sign up. So we're going to go ahead and get logged in. I'm going to click log in. And we're going to be showing you how to upload an SVG. And today the pattern I'm going to use is a lighthouse because I've had requests to show how to put together the lighthouse I made. So I thought I'd just show you how to do the SVGs and then in another video we'll put it together. So right in this box you're going to click New Project. And once you get here you have a blank canvas. And there's two ways to upload an SVG. There is an icon right here that says SVG that you can click and it brings up your box to upload your SVG or you can go to project and there's an SVG icon right at the end here that you can also use. So we've got the box up that says import SVG. We're going to click on choose file. Now I have all my SVGs in one file so I know where to find them and the lighthouse is from the Seaside Collection from SVG Cuts and I'll leave a link to their website below. So I'm going to click on Seaside, click on Seaside again, SVG Files and I'm going to choose the lighthouse. Now the lighthouse has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different files but I know that some of these since I've made it before are small that I can fit onto one mat so we're going to do those first you can only choose one file at a time so I'm going to choose first these bottom panels and we're going to go down and click open and you can see it shows bottom panels SVG so I'm going to say OK and it brings my bottom panels in here which we're going to leave them right there but I want to put more on the mat, so we're going to go up to SVG, choose file, and this time I'm going to choose the roof panels. And we're going to click open, and once again click OK, and I'm going to move my roof panels down into this right lower corner. Now I'm going to click SVG again, choose file, and I want to pick the vellum, that is the windows for your lighthouse. And you can also, rather than go down to open, you can just double click on it and it will bring it in. Click OK. And I'm going to move my windows down a little bit. And actually, I'm going to move the roof panels up. And I'm going to click SVG again. Choose File. And this time, I'm going to choose the railing. That is the little fence part that goes around the top of your lighthouse. I'm going to click OK. And I'm going to move, before I move my railing, it has little cut lines on it that would be your score marks. I'm going to select my railing and I'm going to go up to edit and click group. If you do not do that, when you move your railing, your cut lines for your score lines will be left up here. So I'm going to move that down. And I know there's one more file that I can add in here. So I'm going to click SVG choose file and I'm going to choose the window frames and we're going to click open and click OK. I'm going to move my roof panels down and I'm going to bring my window frames over here and the reason I did these five is because they will all fit on one mat and when you put your paper on you can put it all on together to cut it so it makes sense rather than have to do this five separate times to put what you can on one page. So now we're ready to save this or to download it. Now to save it, you would go up to project and you would click the third icon over with the plus sign and that says saving this project is completed. So then it will be in your projects on the online program. Now to download it to be able to cut it to your brother's scan and cut. There are two ways to do it. You can save it onto a USB and then plug that into your brother scan and cut. Or if you got the wireless card for your brother scan and cut and have your brother scan and cut set up wires wirelessly, 
you can download it straight to the machine which is what I do so to do that you click download and click OK and then you have two choices here you can download to piece your PC or you can go to scan and cut transfer which is what I'm going to use once that is done it will tell you the scan and cut transfer is ready and I'm going to hit close there and now we have to go to our scan and cut machine we'll get reset up and we'll be right back okay we're over to our scan and cut machine now to retrieve the patterns that you just saved you would click on pattern and you would click on this button up here which is your wireless transfer button and it has retrieving now once it comes up you can see it's here it's ready to cut you can do two things here you could scan in paper and put everything right where you want it or you could click save which is what I do because I'd like to get everything for a project saved to my machine before I cut it out so you will click save and I'm choosing my machine which is this button here and it's saving it now right here you want to make note of what number file this is so you know where to start for cutting out your project I'm going to click OK and that was number 31 now I'm going to click my home button if you've got all your pieces downloaded and are ready to start cutting you would check pattern and then you would go to your save data and you would click your machine and you see this here you click there and it brings it up and you're ready to cut so let's go back to the computer and I'll show you another piece of the lighthouse and then we'll come back and show you once again how to do it and we're gonna go ahead and click OK here but I'm going to click my home button and take us back to home so I'll get set back up at the computer and be right back okay we're back to our computer now and to get to the next part we're gonna go up and click the icon for your new project once again it's the first icon with the little plus sign and since I've already saved that it doesn't ask me if I want to save so we're gonna go back to SVG choose file and this time I'm going to choose my lantern now for the rest of these I'm going to have to do one at a time because they're too much on this page to do more than that we're going to click open and OK and you see it brought my lantern but once again if you see the little dotted lines that's for your score lines you need to select both items click edit and group so that they stay together and once again I leave mine as cut lines and I'll show you why when I'm putting it together so we're ready to download our next piece so we click download and I'm going to choose scan and cut transfer again and it's ready to be retrieved so we're going to click close and I'm going to go ahead and save this also to my projects and then if you save something to your computer and you want to go back and change it or do something if you click on my projects right here it will bring up everything that you have saved to your files so we're going to go ahead and close that I've already clicked download so we're going to go back to the machine but before we go back to the machine if you want to get your next one ready to download you could go ahead and do a new project click SVG choose file and we're going to choose Lighthouse 1 this time we're going to open okay and then once again we're going to select both items edit and group and then that is ready to download but you don't want to you can go ahead and click download but don't choose your thing until you retrieve your other piece so we're going to go ahead and switch up and go over to the brother machine okay we're back to the machine and once again you would select pattern select your wireless transfer and you can see it's got my lantern so I'm going to save that I'm going to save it to my machine now since I already have another piece ready to go I'm just going to go to my computer real quick to check scan and cut transfer and now when I go back here I can go back home click OK pattern transfer and there's my next piece ready to go so you can actually get one downloaded 
get one ready to download so it goes a little bit quicker and I'm going to click OK. Actually, I'm going to click Save. If you click OK, you're going to be ready to cut, which I'm not ready to cut yet. So we're going to go back and I'm going to click Save. Save it to my machine and it's good to go. Okay, we're ready to start cutting our lighthouse out. So what I'm going to do is go to Pattern and go to Save Data, go to my machine, and the first thing I'm going to cut out is the one that I put five different little files into together. And I'm going to click OK, and I want to scan my paper because I have five different things on, so I want to make sure and get everything in the right spots. I like being able to see where you're going to put things on the paper. It just helps so much. Okay, so you can see all the different colors. This one we're going to bring down a little bit. This we're going to take up. That one actually looks pretty good. So does that one. And that one looks good. So we're going to go ahead and click OK. And we're going to click Cut. And we're going to hit the Start. And it will cut out all of those different pieces for me on one at one time. So it just helps to be able to cut more than one because it saves a long time. Okay, once that piece is done cutting, I'm going to go back to Home, click OK, Pattern, Save Data, and the next piece I'm going to cut is my lantern. So I'm going to choose this piece, click OK, and I'm going to go ahead and load my paper in. And this is one piece of cardstock, but I still want to scan to make sure I get it set so no pieces are cut off. And actually that looks pretty good so I'm going to click OK and I'm going to click cut and we're going to go ahead and cut that. So you get the idea on how to use your saved data from your brother scan and cut canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting out the lighthouse and I will see you in the next video to show you how to put it together. Have a great day and thanks for watching.